Dogs Kids Club. Yeah! Hey, teachers and parents. For a free printable worksheet that pairs with this video, just go to DiggyDogsKidsClub.com. Well, hey there, Diggy Dog. Do you want to know something really cool? All living things get different characteristics and traits from their parents. It's true, Diggy Dog. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So here's a mom and a dad and their kids. What do you think? Do you think that the kids look similar to their parents? Yeah, I agree. Let's see if we can figure out what traits the children got from their parents. The mom has red hair and brown eyes. And so does her son. He got his red hair and brown eyes from his mom. And the dad has blue eyes and black hair. His daughter got her blue eyes and black hair from her dad. But check it out. It looks like both of the kids got their noses from their mom. Now, although kids usually look similar to their parents, they will never look exactly the same. They will also have their own unique characteristics and traits that differ from their parents. Diggy Dog, not only do people get traits from their parents, but so do plants and animals. So that must mean that most plants and animals look similar to their parents too. Diggy Dog, let's play a game. Okay, Diggy Dog, here is a baby animal. Which one of these adult animals are the baby's parents? Is it choice number one? I agree, Dicky Dog. Although they have some similarities like fur, they still just look too different from each other. Okay, how about choice number two? That's right, Dicky Dog. They're definitely not the parents. Their noses and ears are totally different. Okay, last one, choice number three. <laughs> You're right, Dicky Dog, those are definitely the parents. They all look so similar. That baby definitely got many of his traits from his parents. Round two. Diggy Dog, nice job on round one. But now I have a real challenge for you. Who is the parent of this baby lizard? What do you think about choice number one? That's right, Diggy Dog. Look at their noses, they're completely different. There's no way that's the parent. They are totally different lizards. Okay, Diggy Dog, how about lizard number two? Nice job, Diggy Dog! Now that was a tough one! This lizard is a very similar kind of lizard. But if you look closely, you'll see that its spots and colorations are a little bit different. Okay, Diggy Dog, how about choice number three? I totally agree, Diggy Dog. That is definitely the parent. Not only do they have a similar shaped body and tail, but their coloration and spots are also similar. And number four is a completely different color. There's no way that lizard is the parent. Nice job, Diggy Dog. You have won the game. Dog, although most babies look like their parents, there's actually some that look nothing like their parents when they're first born. Can you think of any baby animals that don't look like their parents, Diggy Dog? <coughs> That's right, Diggy Dog, you are so smart. Both frogs and butterflies look nothing like their parents when they're born. <coughs> 
But what do frogs and butterflies actually look like when they're babies? Let's check it out. So, what does a butterfly actually look like when it's born? Oh yeah, butterflies start out their lives as caterpillars. Look at that, they look nothing alike. Now, what about frogs? What do they look like when they're first born? That's right, frogs are born as tadpoles. Check out that tadpole. It looks more like a fish than a frog. It's hard to imagine how that tadpole eventually turns into a frog. Slowly, over time, the tadpole will grow and develop and eventually become a full-grown adult frog. Wow, now that is cool! All living things grow and change throughout their lives. This is called a life cycle. The beginning of a life cycle always starts with an egg, a live birth, or if it's a plant, a seed. Frogs hatch from eggs, so the beginning of their life cycle is an egg. And once a frog becomes an adult, they lay more eggs, completing their life cycle. So cool! I agree, Dicky Dog. A frog's life cycle is amazing. But guess what, Dicky Dog? Although all living things have a life cycle, not all life cycles are the same. All plants and animals grow and develop differently. Dicky Dog, let's compare the life cycles of two animals. Your choice. Butterflies have a really cool life cycle. Okay, Dicky Dog, what's your second choice? Oh, Dicky Dog, I should have known. You picked a dog. Okay, let's take a look at the life cycles of a butterfly and a dog. What is the life cycle of a butterfly? Butterflies start out as eggs. And when they hatch from their eggs, they come out as caterpillars. The main job of a caterpillar is to eat, and eat, and eat, until he's big enough and ready to form what's called a chrysalis. The caterpillar will stay in its chrysalis for 5 to 21 days, depending on the type of caterpillar. Wow, that was incredible! The caterpillar is now an adult butterfly. Beautiful! There are many different types of butterflies, and they all have different lifespans. Some butterflies may only live for a couple of weeks, while others could live for up to a year. And now that it's an adult butterfly, it will lay more eggs and start the life cycle all over again. Now let's compare the life cycle of a dog. What are the differences? What is the life cycle of a dog? Dogs begin their lives as newborn puppies. Instead of hatching from an egg like a butterfly, a mother dog gives live birth to a litter of puppies. Next, the newborn puppies begin to grow and develop and enter the puppy stage. At this stage, the puppies are still very small and they're just starting to open their eyes and learn how to walk. As the puppies continue to grow and develop, they will enter the next stage, which is called adolescence. At this point, they've developed quite a bit. They're not puppies anymore, but they're not adults either. 
It's kind of like the dog version of a teenager. And now notice how different the life cycle of a butterfly and a dog are. At this point, a butterfly would have to form a chrysalis in order to develop into a butterfly. But a dog just grows and develops very slowly over time. No need for a chrysalis. This adolescent will eventually become an adult dog. A dog is considered an adult around two years old. Think about that! What if humans became adults at the age of two? That would be crazy! That just goes to show you how different all animals' life cycles are. A dog's lifespan is about 10 to 14 years. Compare that to the butterfly's lifespan, who only lives for a couple weeks to a year. Now that's a huge difference! And to complete the life cycle, the adult dog will have more puppies. All living things grow and change and have a life cycle. But all life cycles are different. Diggy Dog, we have learned so much about life cycles. Oh, of course, Diggy Dog. It's time for a Diggy Dog dance party. Party, Diggy Dog! <laughs> See you next time! <laughs> <laughs>